If you are like most people, you keep your sensitive data on your mobile devices, right? Well, currently there are cyber threats that have the ability to take over tens of millions of mobile devices around the world. Pretty scary, huh? Companies and consumers, are you guys prepared? Well, Michael Shalov, mobile security evangelist at Checkpoint Software Technologies, is here to tell us what we need to know to protect our mobile devices. Michael, great to have you on this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Stephanie. So names like Sidestepper, Quadrooter, Hummingbird, those are some names of some cyber threats that uh, you have identified. And uh, I don't know if our viewers are really aware of these hackers that are targeting our mobile devices. What do we need to know? Yeah, so those names that you just mentioned, they are basically some of the threats that our research team here at Checkpoint have identified over the last 12 months. And uh, as an example, uh, Gulligan, which is an attack that we've identified about two months ago, was a, a group of uh, cyber criminals out of China that were targeting or basically infecting over 1.3 million devices worldwide, Android devices. And what those guys were able to do is actually to obtain access to the Google account that people have in the cloud. And then they basically have access to everything, right? They have access to your photos that you might have on your phone. They have access to your your uh, email uh, inf your, your emails. They have access to your documents that you uh, can store on your phone. So pretty much everything. And this is what we're seeing cyber criminals shifting towards. Wow, pretty scary. Now, are there different risks depending on what type of, of phone you have? So for like Apple or Android Android users, what are the risks there? Right, so uh, definitely we see the risks uh, across the board. I would say that uh, for both of those platforms, the risks are uh, pretty similar. The first risk is clearly when you're installing apps on your phone, one of those apps can actually contain the malware. And uh, if you have installed the malware on your phone, the cyber criminals have now access to your phone and all the data on it. Uh, in addition, when you connect to Wi-Fi networks, uh, when you travel, I assume that you would connect to, to your hotel Wi-Fi or in the airport, uh, those can be compromised. And even when you receive text messages with links and you click on them, they can actually lead you to phishing websites. So we see those threats uh, predominantly on Android, but we also see those threats impacting the, the iPhones as well. Yeah. Well, obviously, we don't want people to have our personal information for obvious reasons, but what are they doing once they get our information? What's their, their motive there? Yeah, so cyber criminals actually have multiple motives uh, in obtaining the information. First of all, your information is actually worth money, right? They can resell that information on the dark web. But uh, we're seeing more and more of that information being actually monetized. So there is a business behind that. If they get your bank credentials, for example, your username and password for your bank, they can actually withdraw money from your bank account. They're also doing attacks that we call ransomware, that we, they will essentially lock down your phone and will try to uh, and will ask you to pay for, for getting your, your phone uh, unlocked. And I would say that probably the scariest one is what we call uh, surveillance, right? So it's usually a little bit more targeted. It's usually for people that they have more information to hide. And then they can actually basically collect all the information that you have on your phone, from text messages uh, to emails, all that kind of stuff. Scary stuff. Well, we're out of time, Michael, but uh, we want to make sure viewers know how to protect themselves from a, a breach like this. Where can they go online? Is there any, any online resource you can send us to to learn about these breaches? Sure. So uh, first of all, if you are interested in receiving or, or looking into alerts uh, about new threats, you, sh you should definitely check our blog, blog.checkpoint.com. Uh, also, FBI, FBI, they have an excellent site where they're actually posting uh, advisories. Thank you so much, Michael. Uh, scary information there, but uh, glad to have a resource like you. And if you want to learn more about what Michael talked about, we're going to post it online. You can find out more about these security breaches at fox4morningblend.com.